Hello, hello, what's going on, folks? Uh, man, <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw the thumbnail or the, the title, The Angry Turd. The Angry Ugly Turd. He got mad at me, Nasty Nate, or AKA Turd, man. Um, he got mad at me, man. We were having a discussion. And he started saying some shit, so I, I threw it right back. You you know how I get down tonight. If you, that's the one thing I'm, I'm starting not to like about YouTube. If if you gonna throw throw some shit, you gotta be prepared for some shit to get thrown back at you. You can't be mad and in your feelings. Now during the course of this, you're gonna hear him call me several different names. So when I got my chance to get up there, of course I called him a name and you know me thinking like I think. I thought of the first thing that came to my head. He was an angry turd. Um, but let's just take a listen. I would show the video, but I'm pretty sure he's he gonna try and fair use it, so we'll just take a listen just to be safe. You know what I mean? Got to be careful out here. Interesting, interesting. Be coming up here in a second. Let me see. Oh my God! There Coach go. has a question. Let me see if I can answer it. Uh, how can Kevin's talking points help us against white young men who are killing black folks? I assume you're talking. Now, I literally asked him that because, of course, he's always complaining about women he can't get because he has no fucking game. So I asked, I'm, you know, like with the shit going on in the world, he's worried about black women he can't get. That's what I don't understand about yet some of y'all cats in the ministry. Y'all complain about women that one, y'all don't want and two, that y'all can't get. What's the point of that? Like if, if, if you don't put that shit in your head, you ain't got to worry about it. But let's continue talking about the incident in Buffalo. Okay. Well, yeah, that, that's incredibly unfortunate. You know, they keep harping on the black people that died. From what I understand, there were a few other races of people that were shot and killed also. So, nope. It was only two more white people. And, they, and, and, and during the course of, of this little dialogue, you're going to hear me tell them that. Oh, well, not tell them. Damn, it's in the chat. I can't show. But, um, like he's just misinformed. So I literally say that on one of the. We'll just watch. Keep, it's a keep horrible it. tragedy. His message was meant to do that. Um, you know. YSL is a gang, I think, Young Slime Life, headed up by Young Thug. He was, from what I understand, plotting to kill YFN Lucci. Now, you see how he throws it back to black people? I ask him about white boys. That's what I'm saying. These motherfuckers is weak. He's, he's going to get in his feelings, too. Watch how emotional he gets during this. And then he's going to call me all these crazy names. Just listen. Yeah. I don't know that Kevin Samuels' musings was meant to stop that either. You know, until we until we get sick of black death across the board, I, I don't know that we can be outraged when white gunmen happen to be responsible. And let's be honest, we don't know what happened either. You know, did did you y'all heard that right? Uh, we gotta stop. We gotta. St and he's right. He's absolutely right. But I don't think black people really. This is just, oh my God, man. I'm so, I would say fr frustrated. I'm kind of frustrated and fucking pissed off at this point. Because, I, I mean, just to throw this shit back on black people, when I clearly ask you about young white boys, it, it's just crazy. He wants to avoid it so bad, man. That's how you can tell that this motherfucker ain't nothing but a Republican shield. He's so devoted to his fucking party that he can't see his people. Like, I don't care. I, I don't care about political parties with this particular question. Now, you know, I, I know he generally, me and him generally do that. He thinks I'm a, Demo a, a Democrat, which I am. But so fucking what? These are black people. Like, the fuck? Don't we have that in common at least, motherfucker? You know, I have no idea what happened. Of course, MSNBC and CNN will have a field day with this and try to gin up all sorts of racial hate. You see what I'm saying? He making it all party. CNN is what? Democrats. You see, like, uh, fucking moron. No, he's not a moron. Can't be a moron. You know, that's their job, to be honest with you. But um, I hope that, you know, black people will be politically and racially mature and uh, realize that, you know, if you want to punish somebody for this, 
Go punish the guy that did it. Go storm the jail. Drag him out of it. And go pick him apart at the joints. Go ahead and do that. So they can call us uncivil and barbaric, huh, Nate? You, you angry little turd. You're angry little turd for no reason. And I know why. Because don't nobody like you, bro. You, We don't need to be destroying or harming anyone that had no involvement in it. You know? Let's hold the people accountable that do the crime. You know? that, that's all I'm saying, Conscious Moron. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So, so uh, You can hit it, you know, hit it, you know, five, ten, you know. My grandmother used to say that, you know, no one. You ain't monetized yet, bro? I ain't even monetized. I don't be begging people for no cash. I... But you ain't begging. You just asking because your time is very valuable to you. Nobody else. Do you... Like, I, I bet you won't ask on another one, no cash app. I bet you won't do that one, though. Just do it because you love your people and you want, this, you want to see this country progress. How about that? No one has to give a well. What was saying again? No one has to give. No, if everyone gives a little, no one has to give a lot. My grandmother used to say that. If everyone gives a little, nobody has to give a lot. Nobody has to put a hundred bucks on the books if you know you know ten people give ten. So you know, but y'all decide to do what's best for you. You know how yeah. profound little big Nate's commentary is, how entertaining it is. You know, like I said, I've got I've got more women hitting me off today than men. I mean, jeez, can't believe the brother's gonna let that happen. He wants the man to hit him off. But uh, oh my God, what is conscious moron saying? That? Oh my God, Key is back begging for cash apps. Have you seen my house, Key? Have you seen my house? You probably haven't. I don't need to beg for it. See what I'm saying? So why solicit? Just put it up in there. Just put it up in your, your screen. And then if they want to give, we, we will. And if we don't, we'll have to. Because you got all the money to, and you don't need this. You're just doing it because you love this country and you want to see it progress. You want to see it become better. You're not doing this for money or monetary gains. You're doing this because you want to see people grow. Thank for anything. Especially from the likes of you, Keith. Stop it now. I don't want to have to ban you. I know you sit there getting angry being a single, lonely black lady. What else is Contra saying? Let's see. What I'm saying is we have bigger problems than how black women act. Are you kidding me? You think if this white guy did the crime, you think him killing 10 black people in Buffalo is a bigger problem than single motherhood? Single motherhood? But I thought black men t were the most involved in their kids' life. You raised your, your kids, right? So why wouldn't you think and assume that other black men are in their kids' life just as much as you are, Nate? You see what I'm saying? And this single mom shit. Like, you don't got a day single moms? What the fuck? You old. You out the game. You you hit the wall. Well, you hit the wall a long time ago, Nate. I'm sorry, but you did, bro. Just And, 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 and I'm not even talking about your looks. It's your attitude, man. Your attitude determines your latitude, especially with women, bro. And if you got all this vile hatred built up, you don't think that shit is seen? Come on, man. Conscious. When you say stuff like this, you're giving people reason to think you're insane. And, I, you know, I don't want to think you're insane. I'm insane. Random gun. But see, wedlock doesn't mean that the father is not in the child's life. That just means that the mother and the father aren't married. That's it. Like, are you married to your baby's mom? So you you just like that. And I know what you're going to say. Oh, she tripped. But you picked her. You didn't know how to pick as a man? Were you that stupid? Or was that the first time you got some loving? And you just loved it so much. You said, man, an ugly turd like me getting a woman like this, it'll never happen. And she milked you, and now you mad. And and I, I know you probably want to send your son after me to beat beat me up because he's such an alpha male and you raise an alpha male. But how can a beta biatch raise an alpha male? Come on now. Come on. Jeez. Now 
I know I gotta leave because consciousness is, is gonna make me lose my mind saying crazy shit. Like but you know, you're always welcome. Conscious, you're always welcome. No matter how insane the things you say are, as a committed Democrat and leftist, I I'm was. Used to, I'm used to. Seems like RBO. But right? um, no, the that's other it. side. You know, I, I gotta, I gotta. Does, doesn't that seem like I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with me, but I it's this cat RBR be messing with. And when I used to go on that, when I first met Nasty Nate, I, I told Nate, I was like, you and RBR are a lot of like just on different sides. Like Nate is not as radical as RBR. Don't 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 get it twisted. He's not as radical as RBR, but he ain't too far away. I'll wrap it up, you know, Miss Jenny V and the lovely Miss Jackie Jack. You see, even though Key will talk her nonsense. Women will spend money with me because proper women know what I'm doing is for the benefit of decent women. Everywhere. It is. So why would you charge, Nate? That don't make no sense. If you're doing it for the decent benefit of everybody, that's going to pay for it in itself. And, uh, you know, there's the angry ladies that listen in the clouds, of course. That's just always how it's going to be. You know, it is what it is. But like I said, on several occasions, beware when the criticism stops. That should terrify you. Because when the criticism stops, the men have given up. And instead of 6% of black men having passports, it'll be 60%. Instead of 14% of black men marrying out, it'll be 40. And of course, I know, you know, women like Keel say, well, you know, I mean, we can go get white men. You know, we can go get some white men. I still don't see that. That statement right there, when you're talking about black men divesting and white and uh, black women divesting. That's killing the black community right there. It, you, all this hatred because you you have inadequacies. Don't put that on other people, Nate. Don't do that, man. You too little big for that. See that happening. And my God, the white guys that you usually qualify for end up chopping you up and burying you often. So be careful, ladies. Be careful. But um, you know, uh, I, I genuinely appreciate everybody that came out, even Key. And uh, even Conscious Moron with his crazy music. And uh, no Conscious Moron, a lone gunman doing crazy stuff every three or four years. I think when was the last time this happened? Um, the uh, guy in the church that killed nine? He was talking about Dylan Roof, of course, which was under Obama's presidency. So that had to be at least eight, nine years ago. Black people, I think that's the last time this type of racial attack happened. If, in fact, that's what happened. In Buffalo. What was the guy's name again? Uh, begins with a D, I think. What was his name? That was, what, five, six, seven years ago? That, it, they haven't even told us the racial composition of the other people that died. What if he killed seven blacks and three and three whites? And it's it was ten blacks and two. I mean, eleven blacks and two whites. But, but like, literally, I said this. Like, hard to make that argument, you know, that it was just solely based on race, but, you know. These are the monsters we have to deal with, and uh, it's unfortunate. But um, he had 1,448 on his gun, and other killers. <clears throat> hold on, let me see. And other killers' name who targeted minorities. Nate, if you don't know what happened, just say that because you're sounding like a sellout. Okay. No, I don't know what happened. I just heard about it yesterday. Uh, my son told me about it. But you've done all the research, right? Even though the incident just happened, conscious moron, you know what happened, right? You want to come up and talk about it? I tell you what, I'll drop the stream yard link. He's about to go RBR on me, guys. Watch out. And I just put a thing up, and that's why I was reading. I, I put up the phrase, he had 1448 on his guns and other killers' names who targeted minorities. Just for you, so you can come up and tell us all that you know about this incident, since you got the 411, and I'm just a seller. Come on up. There you go. There's the link. Come and tell us all the details about this and how you know this guy is the guilty party. Come on up. You know his motive. You know everything to know about this. And I'm just sounding like a sellout because I don't know the details yet. Come up here. Let's see if you got the balls to come up here. Since I'm a sellout. What is this, 1990? <laughs> really? Is this 1992? Hey, man, you're a sellout. You're a coon. Why are you on my show, nigga? Nigga! Why are you on my show? Since I'm a sellout, get your ass up here. I didn't. Look at that. Look, just telling me what to do. You hear that? You hear it? That's all you are on me. I think so. I don't, I don't talk to Negroes nicely. Get up here and tell me all the details you know about the.
Now, see, you heard what he just said. I don't talk to Negroes nicely, so why would a Negro talk to you nicely? Like I said, man, if, if you don't, if if you don't, if you can't handle words, then watch yours. This killing that just happened the other day. Let's go. Conscious, let's go. Get up here. See, he was snapping his you know what they say about men who like, won't Whoa. stand behind their words, right? You are aware of that, right? I could care less about how you want to classify me if I don't meet your blackness standard, conscious moron. I've been dealing with Negro trash for 15 years as they tell me I don't know what I'm doing because I vote my interests instead of voting through political. See, he, he gets back to voting. I, we, I, we were talking about young white men killing black people but that's all he's wrapped up and consumed in his political party which which in turn or which gives him every direction in life how he thinks y'all never noticed that like how the democrats and the republicans are you know it's mostly black women on the democrats and the the brothers who are on there they don't like that y'all ain't never noticed that shit it, it's a correlation man is fear republicans even on the white side. Political allegiance to a party of pedophiles. But I'm the seller. Yeah. And he, it's not pedophiles in both parties. <laughs> like, you see what I'm saying? Like, and then, oh my God. Well, we'll wrap it up. He's not going to come up. They never do. They never do. But uh, be careful how you talk about the host. Because, you know, the host can ban you. And that's not necessary. Oh, he's up here. He's up here. Yeah, I'm going to give you five. Well, no, I'm going to give you three minutes uninterrupted. I need it. Thank you so much, you ugly fucking turd. I appreciate that. Now, you didn't happen to read this, man. He kicked me off. You, you can't that help my show and insult me, you effeminate. Rip. That quick. Now, now, you heard what he was saying about me, right? So I, I just gave him a little bit taste of his own little turd. And he didn't like it. Let's listen. Retarded leftist. Now I'm just going to beat the shit out of you and ban you, you dumb nigger, you stupid nigger. I put on the Manosphere meetup. What have you done? The Manosphere meetup. That was that was for the first time. That was pretty impressive. You know, the eight people who learn computers and I'm not knocking that. You you are. You did do that. I, I wholeheartedly give them that. But what the fuck did it do for man? I've raised an alpha male. That's respected by every black man that met him at the meetup. What have you done? Ooh. Besides hop on and off panels, you effeminate cunt of a man. And now you're banned from the channel, little girl. <laughs> oh, boo. Conscious <laughs> moron is now banned. Oh. Too bad. I got RBR. <laughs> banned from studio. Well, that's dumb. Okay. And we'll ban you from the chat. Conscious moron. How about that? Let's do that. Block it. Oh, nobody like so me. So unfortunate. I wonder how many people will come listen to you. You effeminate, coward, nigger boy. Hmm. That's what you are. You got all in your feelings. I got all in my feelings. Only if you would have been at the Buffalo Grocery. Wow. Only if you would have been there. Oh, I didn't hear that part. You pathetic, effeminate sack of shit. Wow. Because you would never say any of that to my face, I little boy. Why wouldn't I? And as far as being ugly, I don't worry about being handsome for men. <laughs> you loose booty. <laughs> prolapse rectum having effeminate, cunt of a nigger. How does he know I have a loose booty? Nate, you only <laughs> licked it one time. But... You're banned now, so we won't worry about you anymore. Damn. But best of luck, uh, you leftist, effeminate sack of shit with no one to listen to you and no one that will care that you No don't. one loves Nobody. me. And that's why you're sitting here listening to me on yeah. my channel because you... And this, folks, is when I realized that I got to get my life together. I am listening to this turd at the end of the day. <laughs> How did I get here? You're a man of zero consequence that nobody listens to. You couldn't fill your filthy fucking bathroom with enough people to listen to your rank, retarded ass. Conscious moron. You name Fill my bath. I wonder how many people that would take. Three, four, maybe? Ten, twenty? Find yourself a magnificently adequate name. I love it. Conscious moron. <laughs> but it's okay because your mother never wanted a son to begin with. Never wanted a son. And she never got Even it. though she had three. Pathetic, effeminate. Yeah, I, I, uh, I went to my, my second account. I gave him a couple of 
which, you know, basically was just saying that I, I didn't run from the fight. You the one bitched up. I was ready to have the verbal tennis match. You weren't. They're just words. They, what you say don't affect me. They just words, bro. Feminine leftist nigger boys. That's what they usually do. Nothing. Even when you talked about my mom and oh, how great she was. She was amazing, man. Like she made me laugh, made me think, made me learn. She was really amazing. I appreciate it. So it was nothing that you could say that could ever take that away. Nothing better to do. You know, I got children to raise. I got a big, beautiful house that I have to manage. Um, events to plan while you hop up on panels cursing people out because you're in your feelings. You cock-sucking loser. <laughs> but that's what your mama raised you to be. Conscious moron. We know that now. I know, he came up here all in his feelings, yelling and cursing. You ugly turd. <laughs> I think that really hurt him. I think that really hurt him. But yeah, guys, I mean, you know, if you don't want if you don't want to get in the ring, then don't get mad. Don't get mad at the fight, man. It's just a fight. We just talking. Peace.